Good to have you back with us on the cafe. What happens when Kiwi Massive Company is invited to create a new work to show at the National Theatre of Scotland's vibrant exchange program? Well, probably a lot of excitement. The result is The Island. It stars six young, incredible performers and is co-directed by our next guest, Miriama McDowell. Welcome, Miriama. Thanks for coming on the cafe. Kia ora korua. It's Thank lovely you. to have you here. Really lovely to have you here. So tell us about the production. Um, it's called The Island. Um, I work for a company called Massive who um, always makes works about the stories of the people who are on the stage. Um, so the director's job is not to tell them what to do, it's kind of to filter what they want to say and make it into a show. Wow, that sounds tricky. It is tricky, yeah. It's, um, it's very different to being an actor um, because you have to look at the whole picture and pick out what's interesting. And um, I think with young people, they... The things that they care about, the things that they want to talk about, um, sometimes are really interesting to them, but they may not necessarily be interesting to an audience. Mm. You know, when we talk about teenage angst right. and all of those oh. things, so you have to go, cool, that, that's interesting to you, but let's take that detail. And It's like reading the diaries that you had to keep when you were in the fifth form, and yes. you had to write the poetry. Remember having to write the poetry? <laughs> and if you find that now and you look at it, you think, what was I thinking? Yeah. Same sort of thing, yeah. but a little bit more in depth, obviously. Yeah, well, it's interesting you say that, because one of the, um, one of the resources that we use in this was the, was their diaries and their notes and their journals and we talked about um, uh, do you guys remember when you were younger you used to make lists oh like, yes. you just yeah. make lists yeah. about yes. things like I've got things my diaries. I love yes. things, yes. I hate, diaries. things I'm worried about <laughs> and that's actually a big sort of thing in the show where they just stand on stage and they do lists and it's really interesting to watch because you go, that's what's going on. Boys, I lie. Yes. Boys, I don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> oh. But it's deeper than that. It's <laughs> deeper than that. We assume that um, young people, I mean, I get worry, worried about it. I live with teenagers and I, and I go, man, you spend so much time on your devices. Mm. Do you really care about, do you have empathy? Do you care about what's going on in the world? Do you do, you do service to the community? Um, but this show shows you what they care about. Right, and I was going to say, is there anything that's really surprised you about what you've learned? Because this is your first time kind of directing in this role. So yeah. You would have learned a lot too, from the kids in particular. Yeah. Anything surprised you? Um, well, we got them to um, write lists about what they worry about. Right. And um, oh, over no. half of them <laughs> said they worried about Donald Trump becoming the president. Oh, oh, isn't that fascinating? United that States. was the first thing that sprung to my mind really? too. Do they worry about Donald Trump? Yeah, and, and see, I would say that we're not political as New Zealanders, but mm. that shows me... We we are. We, we are. Mm. Okay, so you're getting to go to Scotland for this yeah. in July. How did it come about? How did that invite happen? Um, well, the National Theatre of Scotland is an amazing company. Um, they they brought a show here, the James Place, earlier on in the year at the Auckland International Festival. Um, massive company is sets the standard in the world for youth theatre. Wow. Um, and so we get invited a lot overseas um, as a best practice company, which mm -hmm. is something we're really proud about. Mm. But um, I think all New Zealanders should be proud about that. We, we find a way to make work that's relevant and doesn't patronise young people. Mm. It sort of shows them at their best. Yeah, nice. Yeah. How do the people involved in the show, how do they get to be on stage? Or how do they get to these? They must have fought hard to get these roles. Yeah, we, we were just <laughs> joking about that and they kind of pushed up the people out of the way. <laughs> competitive edge. Um, we really encourage competitiveness um, in our company, but um, also commitment and um, really being excellent excellence um, so these guys have worked with our company in an ensemble group they show up every weekend just simply to practice their skills they don't get paid there's no audience it's just them in a cold rehearsal room going we want to be better um, so we took our actors from that ensemble and where do they come from what's their background um, Come to the show. There's a lot of different flavours in this show. Um, there's a very strong Samoan flavour because there's three Samoan women in the cast of six. Um, there's a Māori boy who went to Dilworth College. Um, so he's got a real um, thing about growing up with other young men yeah. on their own. Um, uh, there's, we talk a lot about ancestry. So um, there's a young woman in the work who has German ancestry. So we talk about her ancestral pathway to New Zealand. So there are all sorts of flavours there. And do these guys realise this huge opportunity that lies before them? Oh, it's just fantastic really, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, we talk a lot about what it means to be a New Zealander in this show and we've um, really discovered that we are travellers. 
and we have a real perspective on the world because we're so far from it and we also leave our country, all of us leave our country to go and explore. Um, so actually all of these young people have already left New Zealand which is pretty amazing. Um, they're all excited to get to Scotland and then yeah. go on other journeys once they leave us. I think they kind of can't wait to like <laughs> ditch the directors and I, go off. I bet it's like, let's just, <laughs> yeah, I bet they do. But me too. But really exciting. Oh, so fun for all of you, I'm sure. It's yeah, going to be, what an experience, wait. an incredible experience. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Mm. I love The Dark Horse, by the way, New Zealand. Yeah. If you oh. have not seen that movie, you need to go and watch it. Or yeah. get it out on DVD now. You, you should watch me on the plane. I always watch movies I'm in. Do oh, you? that's awkward. Oh, that's <laughs> like, look, <laughs> it's me. That one's me. That's I'm the star. Well, Miriam, thank you so much. Best of luck for opening night. The island runs from tonight until 1st of July at the Mangari Arts Centre in Auckland before taking off to the National Theatre of Scotland. So make sure you get along to see it now if you can.